Chow from Boston. Boston. We're Madison and Ivan, and today's Mad Adventure is exploring one of the oldest neighborhoods in all of Boston, Boston's Little Italy, the North End. So it's a good thing I brought my appetite, but don't worry if you don't, because just walking down this street will get your mouth watering. Absolutely, the smells coming from every restaurant. There are more Italian restaurants here than I've ever seen in any place <laughs> in my life. Like the density of Italian restaurants is insane. And there are so many things that we want to try today. We're going to be getting pizza, pasta, cannolis, and some Italian dishes we had never even heard of before today. There's plenty of good choices and no way to go wrong. And tonight we are so excited to be here as the Feast of St. Agrippina begins. It is one of many feasts honoring saints that takes place here and in Italy throughout the year. So we are very excited to have the chance to take part in this authentic Italian experience today. So now we're headed to Galleria Umberto's, which is recognized as one of America's classics by the James Beard Association, which is one of the most prestigious honors that one can receive in like the chef and restaurant cooking world. Um, so I'm super excited. I think at, prices could have gone up since I last saw, but it's like $2 slice of pizza, all sorts of like delicious Italian like balls stuffed with yumminess. Like, I don't know, we're, we're gonna find out though. Yeah, but we gotta hurry because I did see that they sell out of like a lot of the things. So let's go. This line is so long. I really hope we end up getting the pastries because those are a limited supply. The pizza, they can always make more for the pastries. I don't know what to start with. There are too many good choices here. I think I'll have to start with the pizza. Sicilian style pizza. I think this is a, just a cheese pizza. It smells so good. The cheese is sharp. I can't wait. Is that it? <laughs> that is my first bite of the day, and what a bite that was. <laughs> I love the sharpness in the cheese. The bread itself is still like has a crisp to it on the bottom, but it's a very saucy too. But because it's so fresh, it hasn't like soaked in, made it soggy. Absolutely delicious. That cheese, that's where it's at. You just order a slice of pizza and you get a slice of pizza. There's one type and this is it. And I get it now because this is a very good slice of pizza. So why mess with the classic? Yeah, this is an amazing slice of pizza. Like, when I mean, you can do a cheese pizza and do it this well and make me not miss any of the other toppings, like, completely satisfy me with just a cheese pizza as some amazing high quality things that you have going on. We have two things that look kind of similar structure. So one of these is a panzerotti, the other is an aranzini. I think you, when you come here, just be safe, order both, <laughs> like we did. <laughs> but I don't know which one this is, but let's find out. This one is the aranzini. So, so interesting. We've hit the treasure chest. There's peas in there. This layer of cheese on the outside that's just like stringy, melty, lovely. Ground beef, I think tomato sauce, which is kind of like a nice, portable, but all-in-one balanced meal. I like it. It just feels like a whole meal. So delicious and flavorful and rich and like incredible. Um, I didn't know there was gonna be cheese in here. That was a delicious surprise. It's, it's so delicious. <laughs> this crispy risotto. I mean, you fry anything and it's good, but you fry this, it's excellent. There's a panzerotti. Ooh. It gives me Porto's potato bowl vibes, but the Italian on it. You can tell the Italian influence already. All the herbs that they put in there, the smooth mashed potato encased in this like nice crunchy but kind of a like flake apart sorry, exterior pastry. I like it. Everything is amazing. Like the, the ingredients that they use like 
It's like every individual piece of everything is fantastic. Like the pizza, the dough is excellent. The sauce is excellent. The cheese is excellent. Like same with this, like the potato, the cheese that they put in it, the herbs, the breading, like every part of it is coming together. I think that's what's so beautiful about a lot of Italian food. It's like these individual love that goes into each aspect of the food and then you marry it together. It's just the most perfect, delicious, fantastic moment. second stop today and the second time that we ended up in the middle of a food tour so we know we're making the right choices. Cafe Paradiso is of course where you have to stop to get your espresso, to get your cappuccino. I mean the Italians perfected coffee. I've heard this place is incredible and the food tour has me even more sure of my choice. I had to get a cappuccino um, but it does look comedically large next to Ivan's tiny little espresso. is a well-made cappuccino. One of the signs of a really like well done espresso is that even though there's absolutely no sugar in it, even though it's basically like the strongest coffee extract there is, there's that hint of sweetness that you get from it. Perfect pick-me-up. Now we're ready to eat more after this. We've done a lot of experiences like this, diving into the Cuban culture in Miami, diving into the Ethiopian culture in Washington, D.C., the Danish culture in uh, Solvang, California. Like, we've really explored a lot of neighborhoods that have this incredible cultural influence. However, this is the first one where I have truly felt as if I am walking through Europe, as if I'm walking through Italy. So many neighborhoods in the United States, especially in Texas and California where we grew up, are a lot newer. Um, but, you know, like that feeling when you're in when you're in Europe that just, you know, walking these historic streets and feeling like you were walking somewhere that has been around for hundreds of years, going on church tours, drinking espresso, like it truly does feel like we are in Italy right now. It's incredible. So we chose Carmelinas because of all of the places, it just seemed like it had the most classic Italian food. It was the Bronx Tail. We got a meatball here. So, so, so tender. Three types of meat in it. We got veal, pork, beef. Perfect. Very good pasta. I just love a good homemade, home style, full pasta, fresh ingredients, simple. Very simple, but it comes together well. The meatball is a real winner. So tender, so juicy. So I got the carbonara. To me, this is just like, this is probably my favorite Italian dish, and it's definitely how I judge Italian restaurants. <laughs> it's really good. I mean, the homemade noodles, just a texture of them in and of itself, you know, the al dente, just absolutely perfectly cooked, perfectly made. It's rich, it's got the perfect peppery spice to it. I mean, it's, it's just, it's delicious. This is, this is fantastic. And I'm, I'm very glad we made this choice. Something I also really loved and appreciated about Carmelina is obviously the food was delicious, but they also do not sell dessert or espresso because they want you to go out into the community. They're like, we can make you a dessert, but like, it's not gonna be the real experience. You gotta go to one of these pastry shops. So we're gonna go to two of the top cannoli shops in all of Boston. Cannolis are a really big deal here. Uh, and so Modern Pastry and Mike's Pastry, from what I have heard, 
have kind of like a little bit of a rivalry. Like everybody says it's one of the two. Those are the top two. So we're gonna try both and make up our own mind. Let's go. So I've heard this one has a shorter line and a more delicious cannoli um, from locals. So, so we'll see. <sighs> Okay, so, so far, modern pastry has better air conditioning, less of a line, nicer packaging if you get an individual cannoli. This came still in the, the nice, cute modern pastry box. Um, and they have Mike's pastry boxes as well, but we just got a bag since we only got a solo cannoli. So, I mean, this is definitely a better presentation. So we went to Mike's first, so I feel like we should eat Mike's first. I mean, it looks pretty amazing. We got the plain shell, the ricotta filling. This is like, this is the one with the biggest line. It is the one that's like on every tourist site. Mm. Mm. It's quite good. It's just so creamy, the filling. I mean, obviously it's like a sweet ricotta cheese blend. It is so tasty. I don't think I've ever had a a cannoli before, but I'm a fan of cannolis now. That is so good. Shell gives you a good crunch, but then this, the filling, the filling is so good. This light, sweet, but mm -hmm. creamy, mm -hmm. kind of like coats your mouth in the best way. Yeah. Mm. It's fantastic. Okay, that's that's really good. Mm. Almost like a condensed milk vibe in the, in but the like filling. A bit of grittiness from mm -hmm. the ricotta cheese, right? But mm -hmm. that's it's good. It's good because I feel like otherwise the creaminess could be too much. This is a much more beautiful cannoli. Like anyway. more glossy. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm tasting some differences. Less oil in the shell. Not as much grittiness in the filling. Mm -mm. It's a very smooth filling. A little sweeter of a filling too, right? Uh, and a little less creamy. Comes down to preference. For me, I think at the end of the day, I think they're both fantastic cannolis. But Mike's has it for me. I think I that agree with that. Easy, yeah. Like the moment I had it, I was like, yes, I get it. This is good. Yeah. The other one's better. I really didn't think this was gonna be the end result. Me either. That's like, right. This one's really, really good, but it does it taste a little more fancy, a little more yeah. upscale. Like it's like the perfect crunch of the breading, the sauce, like the, it's like there's none of the grittiness in the thing. It's like finely made. This is like, mm -hmm. this tastes more professionally done and this <laughs> little white bag of Mike's pastries. Yeah, it's like a lot more like home style of a flavor. That's wild. I'm glad we agree. Makes it easier when we go back for seconds tomorrow. <laughs> no, true. Uh, 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 uh. I can only imagine how amazing it would be to go to Italy. Like, this is just a taste of how amazing it's gonna be. It's a preview. Yeah, and now, preview. now we know we love cannolis. This has been an absolutely delicious day of feasting, and today actually marks the start of Saint Agrippiana's feast. Let's head to a parade. here at the opening ceremony of the Feast of St. Agrippina. Um, so we're super excited. It's about to be It's towards the start of the feast that they have almost every weekend here in August celebrating different saints. St. Agrippina is someone who died for her faith, was martyred um, because she refused to renounce her faith. Uh, so we are celebrating her today and this whole weekend uh, with the feast. So we sure have been feasting today. So it's a perfect, perfect start to the feast celebrations.
Italian street food goes hard. We've got a full blown wood fire oven right there. This was so much fun. But like this reminded me of Europe. This reminded me of when we were in Tinos in Greece and we ended up there during one of the big festivals for one of the saints there. And uh, it on was- On accident. On accident, we just happened <laughs> to be there. And we went in this processional through the street and it was absolutely incredible. And today was really like a mini version of that. That was so cool. Yeah, it's really cool to see the, the community organize and in a big way, like all these decorations. Yeah. Like, like not fireworks, but uh, like confetti. Confetti Boston cannons. Loves their con confetti. Oh my gosh, yeah. I don't know if I've ever seen a confetti cannon in my life <laughs> until we came to Boston and we've been in three in the past month and I love it. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. Absolutely. This has been an amazing day exploring the Italian influence here in Boston. Yeah. Uh, ciao. Did you say ciao for yeah. both? Yeah, I think so. Um, St. Agrippina's coming. St. Agrippina's coming. <laughs> doesn't quite have the same ring to it, does it? When we said we really loved the cannolis, we meant it, because we just bought two more to go. And here's the, the beautiful packaging at Mike's. They do have it. Nice bow. Thanks so much for joining us for this mad venture. Please like and subscribe. Join us on the next one when we head to Fenway Park. And until then, remember to live your own mad venture.